Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 25 online game. Today we have the Carolina Panthers and the San Diego Chargers. I got the Chargers for this game. Just getting a little Chargers gameplay here. Gonna roll Philip Rivers in his offense. And an offense that has been doing very well this year. Which, I mean, not a ton of people expected. Especially with people calling for Philip Rivers to be traded or something. Or whatever in San Diego. People are like, what's wrong with Philip Rivers? This year, he's having a great year. You know, I don't want to say he's a top MVP candidate or anything like that. But... If you have a top 10 list, he might make the bottom half of that top 10 list because he's been playing that well this year. But the Chargers are on the brink of missing the playoffs, and they need somewhat of a miracle to come through. They need the Dolphins and the Ravens to lose and all kinds of nonsense. For the Panthers, they're doing really good this year, and I got to watch out for the Cam Newton option and all that. And so far, we do a good job. We force our opponent to punt the ball right away, and we get the ball, and we run a fully flicker right away out of the gate, and we find Vincent Brown there in the middle of the field there and get a good gain in. This is a subscriber game, so... You know, that's that. And the Panthers' defense as well is, is good. Not only do they have a good defense, but they have a pretty stout defense. And their RB ends up wide open. And I'm like, really? That dude's that open? And we end up getting the first down there to Ryan Matthews. Putting together a decent drive so far until Vincent Brown fumbles the ball. And then one of my receivers just completely misses it. I think that's Eddie. No, Keenan Allen there. Keenan Allen just completely whiffed at the ball there. Which is just a product of Madden. Or just fumbles in general that people don't seem to get. But next play, it looked like he had a catch there. I thought it was a catch. Next thing I know, Sharice Wright comes up with the interception. It's like, okay. So right after I give up the um, turnover, I get a turnover right back on the interception. So that was cool. I hit the ball back, which I feel like I deserve. I didn't feel like I need that fumble there. We got the ball here and... Um, we're doing what we did on that drive before we fumble. We're moving the ball slowly and efficiently. Second down and four, though. Looks like we had to get there to get the first down, but, um, that guy was able to get a stop. And then third down and four in the pocket. And looking, I just take a shot here. I was about to take a sack, and I just lobbed it up there for, I believe, Vincent Brown there. Hope for the best. If anything, I got intercepted. It wouldn't be too bad. If it, and then if not, I just punt the ball. And unfortunately, um, didn't get that punt to stop at the one-yard line. But next play, he tries to throw that option there. A little, I don't know, one of those kind of load options. One of those, I don't know the names of those things too well. But um, he tried one there, and I figured he would pitch it back to the running back. So I timed it perfectly, knocked the Angel Williams back, and I get the ball in the red zone here. So once again, he turns the ball over. And this time, we're finally able to capitalize by getting the touchdown there. Vincent Brown fighting hard for that one. And we grab the first touchdown of the game here in the second quarter. And now he's back on the field with Cam. Probably not going to run too much options or that little pitch option, whatever the hell it's called, after he fumbled the ball. So I know I probably shouldn't be looking for that too much. Instead, he comes out passing and... And that's working all right for him. He gets a first down there to Ted Ginn. Then he comes out, play action here. Just trying to take advantage of Cam rolling around. And he's starting to think and dunk the ball. He's not really looking for anything deep. And I'd rather people look for something deep. Because that increases the chance of an interception. Like the one he threw to Sharice Wright. But now he's playing it smart. He's taking what I'm giving him pretty much. And then Cam Newton decides, yeah, I'm going to get a little bit more. I'm Cam Newton. I'm a complete beast. And I can break tackles at any time I feel like it. Next play, I try to send a blitz there. But um, he doesn't find the open guy. He finds the... Um, whoever that was, I think it was the tight end, and then he runs the screen pass here, I was just a little bit off, I could have made the tackle there, but I got smacked by an offensive lineman, ball goes to the one yard line, he tries to run in with D-Lo, but we stuff him, two yard loss there, though next play, he runs in with Mike Tolbert and gets the touch, actually he doesn't get the touchdown here, it's third down goal at the one, we have a chance to make a big time defensive stand, and he comes out passing, unfortunately he does get it there, to Greg Olson for the touchdown, and um, that was really close to being one hell of a defensive stand for us at the one yard line. Made that great play with Weddle and then even stopped Tolbert. But um, eventually we give the touchdown there, unfortunately. So we're back on offense. We haven't been on offense in a while. Last time we were on offense, we scored. So we come back doing what we did before. Run the ball, Ryan Matthews. Get some good gains. Even though there's only a minute left. I figured I could run the ball and get a good game. That's what happened. Next play, flush out the pocket here with Rivers. And unfortunately, I get sacked. I wanted to throw that one away. But I ended up getting sacked right before. And next play, why not run wide receiver screen here? We got a great game here of Vincent Brown going downfield all the way to the 10-yard line here. At the goal line with 24 seconds left. And instead of possibly setting for a few, settling for a field goal, we have a chance to get a touchdown here. With 10 seconds left, we're looking at Ryan Matthews in the flats. And Ryan Matthews gets us a huge touchdown there. A big Big change of events there after that Vincent Brown screen pass gets us a seven point lead heading into halftime. Unless he could pull off a miracle here with Cam Newton, and he kind of does here. Deagle somehow breaks the tackle there, gets a few extra yards to go out of bounds, and that allows Graham Gano to knock down a 56 yard field goal before halftime. And 
That's why I do not squib the ball. That's why I pooch it and, you know, let people sell out the 40. Because when you squib it, there's a chance someone takes it to, like, midfield there, unfortunately. And that's what happened to us. And we should never give them up those three points. And this play, this was a subscriber play right there. Where someone knows your play. Someone watches you on YouTube and knows exactly what your read is on the play. I mention it a lot of times. On that play, when Blitz is coming, I throw it to the post route. And I even asked the guy afterwards, like, you definitely knew that I was going there. He was like, yeah, I knew that. So, um, unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes when you play subscribers. They know what you're doing. And, you know, I sometimes will try to run a halfback pass, and people will run commit right. I'm like, really? But, um, they're expecting a halfback pass. So, that's just an element I have to deal with in games. And, unfortunately, that one cost me because I get ball half there, chance to control the game, get a two-possession lead. Instead, now all of a sudden, I'm down by seven and just tossing up lobs there to Antonio Gates here. So, you know, it's a little bit frustrating, but we do have to overcome it, and we're going to do what we've been doing all game. Not getting big plays, but taking what he gives us. Here, third down, nine, big time um, play there, because we didn't get that. We would have been a little bit screwed there, but we're able to find Eddie Royal there for the first down. I was trying to get a run game going out of this formation, and even though that one run got us a few yards, besides that, it hasn't been working out too great. Second down, I want to throw that wheel right there, and I eventually just chuck it up there. Not a good decision. Thankfully, I get bailed out there. Someone swats it instead of any intercepting it. Third down and one comes up, and we find Keenan Allen there, and Keenan Allen is gone. Might, looked like that might have been intercepted there, but Keenan Allen ends up getting a touchdown out of that, and we grab back the lead here, so we do what we had to do. Got a touchdown, we score right back. Now, son, it's all on him to try to score on this drive. And look at Cam Newton going in complete beast mode. And there goes Cam. Cam at the 20. Cam at the 15. And Cam finally tackled at the 11 yard line after completely beasting. Juke moves, stiff arms, all kinds of stuff. And next play, D Lo. This is best Cam Newton impersonation by just stiff arming a guy all the way into the end zone. And, you know, me talking all game about thinking and dunking him. And force them to do that. Here he comes getting two big plays from his running game. And I did not like that at all. Especially the way it happened when we should have contained him. Didn't like that at all. Right now Cam Newton is just playing like a monster right now. I got to just watch out for all Cam Newton runs. How about I do a little Phil Rivers run there? Why not? Here third down and six. And we find Antonio Gates for the first down. Of course when you're playing for the Chargers. Antonio Gates is the security blanket. So you look for him in the middle of the field as much as you can. That's what I did there on third down. I found him for the first down. But after trying to run the ball for two downs we get absolutely nothing there it's stuffed bringing up a third down and long here i'm looking at antonio gates again he gets it and he unfortunately stumbles on like dirt like i don't know how he stumbled no one even touched him and the man just fell down and i cannot get the first down somebody picked up a great block there but antonio gates fell down and i had to punt the ball because of that so that's really frustrating i should have the first down there but um the man just tripped over a ghost i don't know and now instead, my opponent gets the ball back here in the fourth quarter, already up by three points, and she needs to extend the lead. But Dwight Freeney off the edge, sacks Cam Newton on first down, and then second down and very long, have him just, you know, forcing the check down there, and he can't even get that. And now it's third down and 18, and now we have a chance to make a play on defense here, but he throws a great pass there. Just squeezing it in between my two defenders to Brandon LaFell for the first down. Now son, the clock is the factor, but now son, it's not a factor, because there goes D'Lo. D'Angelo Williams busts off huge run almost all the way for a touchdown at the two yard line here next play running the ball with cam and cam get off of me cam just like get off of me i am 6'6 like 250 you're a scrub compared to me all right you're just gonna get off me like a fly and my opponent takes a 10 point lead here and we need to pull something out of our ass here we want to come back in this game here so, you know, I can't really think and dunk anymore. That's the thing. I've been moving slowly all game, but now I got to run hard up. I got to find open guys downfield instead of taking five-yard gains. And here we do a pretty decent job of that. Find Eddie Royal. And most importantly, we get out of bounds in that play to save some clock. Instead of, you know, wasting time to run hard up. Next play, Ryan Matthews. Don't unfortunately get out of bounds. They're trying to get a few extra yards. So we have to run hard up here. And we find Antonio Gates in the middle of the field. Like I said, security blanket. Continue to find him. But the clock is my enemy right now. Down 10 points. And we go downfield. We take our shot. And Antonio Gates makes a great catch in traffic there. Antonio Gates is making some great plays here in the second half. And look at Eddie Royal in the corner there. Getting to the three-yard line. And right for the two-minute warning, Antonio Gates gets a touchdown. And we really wanted to get that touchdown there for a two-minute warning. So... We could just save our timeouts here. And just by um the two-minute warning, that's an extra timeout for us. So we could do that. But unfortunately, 
He almost gets the first down there too. I but yeah, it's Tolbert there, but on second down and one, we make a huge tackle there and not make him get a first down. Then on third down and four, he tries to pitch it to D'Angelo Williams, and we have it contained. So that second down and one tackle ends up being huge. If he could have gotten a first down there, kill clock. Instead, we get the ball with all three timeouts, only down by three points, and with the epic music going on. So you know, we gotta pull something out of our ass here. The epic music is going on, right? Early on, try to get the run game going, nothing happens. So I'm like, alright, gotta go passing and gotta go to Antonio Gates because he has been the guy in the second half of this game. But Antonio Gates can't get the first down. 50 seconds left in the pocket. Throwing it to Brian Matthews there who's wide open. Trying to get out of bounds there. Unfortunately cannot. Run hurry up next play. Try to run the ball. Ryan Matthews. And we get out of bounds there with 32 seconds to go. Trying to get a field goal to tie or a touchdown to win. Second down and three. Vincent Brown gets the ball but cannot get the first down. Once again, clock running. Do not call a timeout. Third down and one. We're looking at Antonio Gates but he's covered. Not to throw it away because pressure's coming. And now fourth down and one. I can't kick this field goal. I got to go for it so I quarterback sneak it and Phillip Rivers fumbles the ball ball on the ground being kicked all over the place and we recover it Phillip Rivers recovers his own fumble thankful we get the ball back so we can run a screen pass next play and look at Ryan Matthews trying to score the game winning touchdown but he gets tackled at the 21 yard line with four seconds left out of bounds are not clock stops since we have field goal and we kick it um we kick the field goal here to um to send the game to overtime and Oh my god, did you guys see that that play though? Four down and one, and Phillip Rivers fumbles it and then kicks the ball in midair, and it somehow lands back on Phillip Rivers. I'm not sure how the hell this is in overtime right now, but since we're the away team, we get ball, we receive, and we get a chance to score the game winning touchdown, which is why I wasn't that worried if I got the field goal there to tie the game, because I have a chance to score a touchdown here with all of this clock necessary to win the game straight up. So now I can dink and dunk all I want, you know? And here first play, he sends an all-out blitz. Probably should throw in to Ryan Matthews, but I'm Antonio Gates locked right now. Look at him, eight catches in this game for Gates. But second down and one, he makes a big time stuff in the run game, bringing up third down and four instead of a new first down. But Antonio Gates, once again, Gates is killing it. And Gates getting a lot of yards after the catch there. Next play, run the ball here, Ryan Matthews. But just like the way it's been in the second half, run game not really working for much. And someone on the defense is injured. Bringing up second down nine, and he brings a blitz here. And I throw it deep downfield to Eddie Royal, and Eddie Royal catches it, and Eddie Royal's in the end zone, and that's the game. We win the game in overtime on a deep throw to Eddie Royal. He gambles sending a blitz, and Eddie Royal is one fast man. He's gonna beat almost anyone one on one, and we come out with the win there. So, hell of a game, man. Hell of a game. Very damn. Dramatic game, a stressful game to play with all the twisting plots it had, but we do come out with the win somehow. So, um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You have to enjoy it, so you're gonna leave a like on the video, right? And I'm um, subscribe for more Man 25 online games. Good game to this guy, he played a great game. And until next time, um, catch you guys hopefully for another great game.